Hey guys, Jim. Damn it. Sorry for that. Hey guys, Jim with Wolf here, and today I'm doing a review on my custom Lego Ant Man. Now, this is actually the Ant Man from the set that they gave us, but I totally re redid it. I re 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 repainted the body, I painted the arms that they wore that anything on them, I re repainted the legs, I filled in the helmet, and re repainted the helmet. So. Everything on here is repainted by me. The only thing that's um, as for, from the old main figure is the belt and the helmet shape. But actually, but it's like the helmet red, 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 trans, trans, trans red. But I filled in the helmet because um, it's not because in the movie it's not it's not hollow. Like they had it for some reason they had it hollow. I don't know, but yes, yeah, smell like Ant Man. And, and today is the day that Ant Man comes out. So tonight I'm going to see Ant Man. It's gonna be awesome. And I, I gotta do this before. So I keep focusing it. I, I gotta do this before I go, because I I want to be, be uploading while I'm gone. Hopefully, so by the time by the time this is first up, I'm I'm seeing Ant Man right now, and hopefully I'm enjoying it. So cause it, hopefully it's good. So for Ant Man, um, I basically just the the entire the entire body all the lines all the, the silver lines on the figure I, I painted all the all the silver lines on there um I painted on the the si painted stuff on the sides of the legs too as well, so it, it it went went around from the front to the sides and I, I repainted all that so it match so it won't be like small lines and bigger lines in the body I re repainted all the red on the body repainted all the lines in the body um I basically Took off all the printing on the body except for the belt and repainted everything. And the shoulder pads, I fully painted the shoulder pads and the helmet. The helmet is what I'm really most proud of. I filled it in, painted it silver in the front, over to the sides, and up top. And the rest of it, I painted gray. Then you can see the silver going all across. You can see the, like, the black lines, the, the, the black outline and everything on the silver and the lines going up. It just Everything. I, I, I'm really happy with how this figure came out, and I, I think this is one of the one of my best figures of of a while, not of the year, of a while. It's one of my, my best figures in a, in a while. Definitely. I mean, the only thing that I'm ashamed of really is uh, I got this set. See, I couldn't find the set in the store, so I actually had to order it from. I had to actually order order online. And, um, I got it two days ago, because the Amazon comes out today, on Friday, I got it Wednesday, which was actually got Wednesday night. So basically, I basically I just had Thursday to work on it, and I spent all, and today, I couldn't do it either. I spent all Thursday working on this, and I didn't get to the part that I was actually, I was actually kind of looking forward to doing this. I didn't think, oh, damn it. I didn't change the head. Still, Ezra's head from Star Wars Rebels, Aladdin's head from Aladdin. It's just, oh my gosh, this is just, I can't believe the Lego group did this. How is a 13-year-old kid supposed to re represent Paul Rudd, a 35-year-old guy, 35-year-old Paul Rudd, be represented by 13-year-old Ezra? I don't know. Lego group, you do strange things, like the helmet being hollow. I don't know. You, you do weird things sometimes. Sometimes you do great things. Sometimes you do, you do really weird, stupid things, like the head and making the hel helmet hollow. But uh, I'm getting, I'm getting off topic. Um. Yeah. So basically, this I, um full 360 of the figure. So I don't I don't have my usual um spinning stand. The back actually didn't repaint. I just repainted the red, but the rest of it I actually liked how it was. So I didn't, didn't repaint that. I actually, I actually like the back. And that's basically it. Um, shoulder pads, sides, everything. Everything was painted. Everything you see on this figure is hand painted and hand made if it has to be made, but hand painted by me. And I, I think this figure came out amazing. I really, really like this figure. So, um, I, I hope this was a good showcase. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. So, um, you're, this is going up up on the day that Ant-Man's coming out. 
I'm gonna see. I'm, I'm I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go see Ant-Man and hopefully and probably enjoy it because it looks awesome. So it's Jim Twelve signing off. Please remember rate, comment, subscribe. I don't know why I keep saying rate. It's not a thing anymore. God dang it! But to like, subscribe, comment, all that, all that, all that fun jazz. And I will see you guys in another video. Oh, and before I go, um, I know this is my first video in so long because. I was doing schoolwork, and then I had finals, and then I had, like, stuff for just personal, personal stuff, like parties, and personal stuff that I had to take care of, so hopefully, hopefully I can be forgiven for all that, but I, I did make a, a, a bunch of customs in that time. I did get Arkham Knight. I did, I did make all the Arkham Knight figures. I made, well, I made, I made Batman, Nightwing, Scarecrow, Two-Face, and the Arkham Knight. So that, that showcase will be going up soon, and I hope this. I hope I'm, I'm really sorry for not uploading for a long time, for for, for like forever. And um, I hope this. I hope I can make up for it. So, rate, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff again. And I will see you guys in another video. Promise soon. Again, goodbye.